Welcome back into our Let's Eat Kitchen. Joining us this morning is Melanie Taliska. And Melanie is the founder of A Fresh Start home cooking in terms of class parties and you got a nice theme for the beginning of the school year here this morning. I do. It's children. Children. Mm -hmm. It's back to school week. I know moms and dads are gearing up for getting ready to uh, get the kids off to school. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, prepare some child friendly meals that moms and dads can cook at home that are healthy and uh, fun and kind of mirror some uh, fast food restaurants that we uh, tend to take our kids to when we're on the go. Uh, we're going to do uh, homemade chicken fingers or chicken nuggets and apple fries and we have some homemade honey mustard and we also have a mock-up of ketchup which is a sugar-free jelly. Wow, cool. All right. Well, let's Sounds get right good. to it. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm going to start with the apple fries first. I have an apple and I peeled it. Um, just because it looks a little bit more like a fry when you peel it for your children. Sure. I know my kids don't really like the skin. So I'm just teaching basic slicing, julienne it's called, mm -hmm. and this would be something that I would teach in the class. Now you're not only Now doing tell us about your business, yeah. Yeah, right? I was going to say, not yeah. only for adults, but trying to get the kids involved in the kitchen too, right? Exactly. Except not with that knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a little scary. Now we don't actually fry the, those, right? We don't. They're okay. just fresh. Uh, they, they look like a fry. And anything I tell my children that is a French fry, they'll eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they look like fries. And then I have some jelly there that looks like... Uh, ketchup, mm -hmm. so they can dip it in the ketchup. Oh, and cool. <laughs> just base, so it looks like jelly. Just yeah. basic julienne, something I would teach in the class. Uh, knife skills. So that would be my first. You know, anything that would make the kids uh, make it look like ketchup. All yeah, right, so chicken fingers. Some, we have about two minutes left. Chicken okay, fingers. let's do chicken fingers. Okay. All right, I'll put this to the side. What I have here are just some uh, boneless chicken breasts. Mm -hmm. And you can cut these any way you like, however your kids like them. You can slice them into strips like this, mm -hmm. or you can do them into a nugget like you would find in, say, for instance, a fast food Happy Meal. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do, all fresh, I'm going to dip it. It's called dredging. I'm going to mm -hmm. pull it over to this way a little bit. Now, Dan didn't want to do this because he didn't want to get messed up. It is. It's <laughs> messy, this is Dan. You yeah. have to bring this up. <laughs> it, it's a little messy. I have some flour. Again, just basic principles of chicken. And you can work off of this and use it for anything. Egg wash. And then I use some panko breadcrumbs, which is a Japanese breadcrumb. It's a little on the crunchy side. Mm -hmm. so and all this is healthy. It, it is. It's he well, it's healthier than what you're going to get if you're going to go sure, sure. take right, out. Right, 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 right. I have light olive oil. I tend to, to saute in light olive oil when I'm cooking for the kids because it's not quite as heavy mm -hmm. as um, an extra virgin olive oil. Right. So here's a strip. I'm doing a strip for those of the kids that like the, stri the chicken strips. And it's that simple. And it's that simple. There's a lot of kids that, I mean, they go for the hot dogs, but they love chicken nuggets, too. This is a great idea. They do. They love it. And yeah, can, while you're doing this, yes. can you explain your business a little bit to us? Because uh, you, do, uh, you do some other stuff aside from this. I do. I, I, I do some catering. I do catering, and I do the at-home cooking parties, mm -hmm. which is um, you can book a party, invite friends, and I'll come over and do a two-hour cooking demonstration and mm -hmm. teach you how to cook. And there's various levels from basic cooking, knives, chopping, boiling water to intermediate level, and... Uh, and then we just cook, and then you eat the food, and we can exchange recipes and have fun and um, learn how to cook. All right. And well, what are some of these sauces? You talk about yeah. jelly. Uh, what I have here, let me just wipe the egg off my mm -hmm. hand. Mm -hmm. This is a homemade honey mustard. Okay. It's just um, a quarter cup of honey mm -hmm. and some Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you know, honey is all natural. It's good. Um, you just mix it up, and then you can dip the chicken finger in it. The chicken fingers are nice, too, because it's something, if you have time on a Sunday, uh, you can bake up a batch of them and put them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in the freezer, and then just pull them out 
for the week for the meal for your kids. Perfect to do on NFL Football Sunday. There Absolutely. you go, and they're good for moms and dads. Exactly. Uh, Janine, uh, we're uh, not Janine. We're, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, and uh, the recipe, Melanie, we're, the, the recipe is on our website at wnyt.com. Scroll down left hand side of the browser, only on 13 to Let's Eat section. Healthy, fun, child friendly foods with Melanie Taliska. Mel start. Start. Melanie, thank you. Thank you very for being much. With us. Thank you very much. Appreciate My pleasure. It. Thank you. We'll be right back.